Thank you, Arturo, for that very, very wonderful uh, introduction. I most sincerely want to thank Naleo for tonight's recognition. But more importantly, on behalf of my family, I thank the Board of Directors, Arturo Vargas, for his incredible service as Executive Director and his staff, and all Naleo's supporters, both past and present, for all you have done to make my father's vision a reality and to build this organization into one of the most respected organizations in our nation. My family also extends our most heartfelt appreciation for the respect Naleo has shown my father and his memory through the creation of the Edward R. Roybal Award for Outstanding Public Service and for the establishment of the Roybal family seat on the board of the Educational Fund. In the 1970s, as my father traveled throughout the country, he became acutely aware of how Latinos appointed and elected to positions of power were often disconnected from each other. Understanding that if our Latino communities were to be empowered into meaningful advocates at the national and the local level, it was essential to create a network through which a diverse community leaders could effectively and fully engage in the American political process by being able to build coalitions and unite behind common goals and objectives. A key component of that effort was to include programs and training on the political process, the development of policy, the value of citizenship, and civic engagement. In the early days, gaining support for what some told my father was a pipe dream it was not an easy task. As when my father founded the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, he was told he would never succeed because our Latino communities were too diverse to have common interests or unite behind common goals. He was also told that corporate America would never fully support a national Latino organization whose mission was to politically empower our communities. Those of you who knew my father know that when he believed in a cause, nothing could deter him from working as hard as he could to achieve his goal. So with Ed Avila and then Harry Pachon at his side, he began his journey to gain support for a national organization which today we call Naleo. While it was a difficult journey at first, a small group of Latinos and corporate sponsors, many of whom are here this evening, believed in his vision and helped to lay the foundation for Naleo's success. Building on that foundation, each generation of Latino leaders, including those who now serve on the Naleo boards under the outstanding leadership of the Honorable Alex Padilla and the Honorable Pauline Medrano, have all proven that diversity is our strength and that despite our different ethnicities, political affiliations, or regional identities, Latinos will work together toward our common goal of strengthening and empowering our Latino communities. As a member of the Educational Fund Board, I have seen firsthand that unity at work. And I assure you, we can all take great pride in how Naleo's leadership reflects the value of public service and honors the sacred trust held by public officials and community leaders 
to create an American society that is just, fair, and filled with opportunity for all. To re <clears throat> to receive this acknowledgement from this array of talented and dedicated leaders at Naleo's helm makes this recognition not only very special, but extremely humbling. Again, I say thank you to Naleo for this tribute, but especially for the privilege and the honor of being able to serve with you. Thank you so very much. Thank you.